F321 Unit 1, Module 2 Electrons, Bonding and Structure The first ionisation energy the first ionisation energy of an element is the energy required to remove one electron from each atom in one mole of gaseous atoms to form one mole of gaseous 1 plus ions. Electron shielding. This is the repulsion between electrons in different inner shells. Shielding reduces the net attractive force from the positive nucleus on the outer shell electrons. Successive ionisation energies. These are a measure of the energy required to remove each electron in turn. A shell is a group of atomic orbitals with the same principal quantum number, n. This is also known as a main energy level. The principal quantum number n is a number representing the overall energy of each orbital. This increases with distance from the nucleus. The sets of orbitals with the same n value are referred to as electron shells or energy levels. An atomic orbital is a region within an atom that can hold up to two electrons with opposite spins. This is a common exam question. A subshell is a group of the same type of atomic orbitals, S, P, D or F, within a shell. An electron configuration is the arrangement of electrons in an atom. A compound is a substance formed from two or more chemically bonded elements in a fixed ratio, usually shown by a chemical formula. An ionic bond is the electrostatic attraction between oppositely charged ions. A giant ionic lattice is a three-dimensional structure of oppositely charged ions held together by strong ionic bonds. A group is a vertical column in the periodic table. Elements in the same group have similar chemical properties and their atoms have the same number of outer shell electrons. A covalent bond is a bond formed by a shared pair of electrons. A lone pair is an outer shell pair of electrons that is not involved in chemical bonding. A dative covalent bond is a shared pair of electrons which has been provided by one of the bonding atoms only. This is a common exam question. Electronegativity. This is a measure of the attraction of a bonded atom for the pair of electrons in a covalent bond. Again, this is a very common exam question. A permanent dipole is a small charge difference across a bond that results from a difference in the electronegativities of the bonded atoms. A polar covalent bond has a permanent dipole. A polar molecule has an overall dipole when you take into account any dipoles across the bonds.
A permanent dipole-dipole force is a weak attractive force between permanent dipoles in neighbouring polar molecules. An intermolecular force is an attractive force between neighbouring molecules. Van der Waals forces of attraction are attractive forces between induced dipoles in neighbouring molecules. This is a very common exam question, so you've got to learn this one. Another common exam question is defining a hydrogen bond. This is a strong dipole-dipole attraction between an electron-deficient hydrogen atom in one molecule and a lone pair of electrons on a highly electronegative atom. OH and NH are the usual examples. Metallic bonding. This is the electrostatic attraction between positive metal ions and delocalised electrons. Again, learn this one. Delocalised electrons. These are shared between more than two atoms. A giant metallic lattice is a three-dimensional structure of positive ions and delocalised electrons bonded together by strong metallic bonds. A simple molecular lattice is a three-dimensional structure of molecules bonded together by weak intermolecular forces. A giant covalent lattice is a three-dimensional structure of atoms bonded together by strong covalent bonds. This concludes this topic. Thanks for watching.